Welcome everyone to this uh, tutorial and uh, just want to remind you to uh, to subscribe uh, turn on the notification bell like or comment my video and that would be great so uh, so this tutorial is all about uh, creating a mock-up uh, to enhance your your design uh, so creating a mock-up, we will talk about, you know, creating a mock-up for mugs, creating a mock-up for, say, a pillar here, and you're going to put vinyl cutouts here. And we're also going to talk about putting, you know, putting um, a, a logo into a cylindrical object like this. And vehicle graphics and... Uh, and this is also a uh, banner stand. So in the uh, so the two tools or the two two effects that we're going to use here is the perspective and the envelope. So let's start with uh, this mug here. So these are all vectors, and I'm going to show you that it works with vector and also works with bitmap. This is a bitmap object or photo. So, so let's go to the uh, to the vector image. So, if I want to put this in here, you can't just put it like this. It won't look professional because, again, perspective's not there and it's it's off. You know, the design is off. So, here's what you do. First, you create a uh, a, a square. Say, for example, a square or a rectangle. And then you are going to uh, let's just make it the same proportion as your, you know, or your design that you're going to put to put right. And then uh, the next thing you have to do is you go to objects and convert to curves. So why are we converting the curves so that we can change the shape of it? Okay. So now if we go to the shape tool, you're gonna see these four nodes right that means to say you can edit that so we'll move it like this okay uh, so just make it you know equal spacing here and here and also this one here you move this going to the left side and yeah I'm happy with that same okay so now the next thing we have to do we're going to curve this because this one is a curved object right and this one too so you click on this line, very important, and then you click on convert to curve. So once you convert to curve, you can actually uh, change this. Oops. It's just hard to okay. uh, change the shape to follow the contour. Right? And also this one, we are going to, oops, we're going to... I think we haven't yeah I have to convert to curve first and then you see this arrows here you can drag that okay so say again uh, look at the spacing okay so that looks good so now we are going to make sure this one is grouped together okay so control G is to group or you can go to here this icon to group objects okay so we're gonna group that and now it's group objects now we go to objects and sorry not objects we go to effects and we go to envelope or control F7 and these dialogues will show up okay uh, then look down here this one is create envelope from so basically how this works is it will it will it will go into the shape that you've created which is this one right so you click on this and then corel draw will show an arrow and then you will point the arrow to this one here and click and now it it creates the envelope of the shape now you can move that and then you can move that here inside now that looks better than the first one uh, and then you can still edit this so for example white is better for for this design 
So yeah, so that's for vector image, right? Now say for example, you have a customer who wanted to see, can you see if this one, how would it look like in a mug? So this is what we're gonna do. So same procedure, you create a square or rectangle. Let's just say like this. And then uh, we'll go object, convert to curves. And then you go to your shape tool and then change the shape following the shape of the mug. Uh, click on this, uh, curve, convert to curve. And then you can grab this arrow. I think this is better. You grab the arrow here. Uh, you're gonna have two arrows because it's a curve already. And this one, uh, click on convert to curves. And then you can just like drag it down. Okay. So make sure the spacing is equal. And then after that, so again, this is a bitmap, right? So we, the first one, we did a um, vector. Now if I go to wireframe, that's a bitmap. So we go enhanced. So we go here, so create envelope from. So the envelope is this shape that we just created. And just wait for a few seconds, and that's it. Now we can delete this one and then move this over to inside the mug. Hmm, that's great, right? So now that looks uh, more professional. Okay, now let's go into, uh, let's go to this one here. This is like a, a banner stand. So say for example, you wanna put this banner stand here, right? So again, we're gonna group this. Group, important, control G to group because we're going to put this here. But first we have to, um, we have to create a a uh, like a rectangle for that. So just create a spacing. I mean, space it out, right? Okay. So this one won't work because if you look at the proportion, it's not proportion, right? So we I'm going to change the proportion of the uh, okay. Most likely the proportion is like this, okay? Okay, and then we will, so just click on this, uh, create envelope from, and then just click on this one, and there you go. And then you can just delete this and then bring this over here, okay? And that's it, right? So it's important to uh, to to develop your skill to create mockups because the mockups really would enhance your design. Because if you just you know show them like the mug, uh, you know without the the mug, just the the design, they won't really appreciate that. But if you put it in the actual object, they would imagine how you know, how would it look like because you already presented them with a with a good graphic. So here, um, so for, here for this one, we are not going to uh, use envelope, okay? Uh, when, you, when you have this kind of object, uh, I think it's better if you use perspective. So this is combination of a bitmap and also vector image. So the vector image are the text, right? If you click on wireframe, vector image, vector image, and then uh, JPEG, okay? So now we are just going to go straight down here. Okay. I'll just make it the top there. Okay. And then you go to uh, object and then add perspective. And then you just have to uh, click this and then move it there. And click this one, move it there. And then this one. All right, then you have a billboard. All right, so now same thing with this one. Uh, let's say for example, this one, your project is, you know, you're going to put creativity here, text, and this is vector, right? It's a text vector. So first you have to, you know, 
uh, make it 90 degrees here just type in 90 and then you just have to make sure that it fits oops I'm just gonna exaggerate it so that you know it would wrap around okay so now we move that here and then we're going to create again an ellipse or sorry, not an ellipse a rectangle and then convert to curves object convert to curves and then we go to the shape tool we are going to just reshape it okay uh, right here and then go here right and then click here uh, convert to curves and then you have these two arrows here just shape it like that and this one convert to curves and then shape it all right and then we can go click on your text and then uh, create envelope from and this is the envelope and then you're ready to put this inside here all right okay so that's it and we can also make same same procedure with this one and also same procedure with this i'm just showing you you know that you can do it here too same concept here it's the same concept with a billboard uh, you can actually just copy this one i hit the plus sign in your keyboard and then i can even uh perspective is great because it's actually you can actually still modify it so if i go to my perspective here i mean the shape tool so that's the shape tool uh, you can still change it not like envelope envelope is a bit difficult because once you already create the envelope you cannot um, you cannot change it anymore unless you start over again all right and then with this one you just grab it here uh, okay so for example you want you want the whole truck right uh, but I'll show you but you have this problem here right so what I'm gonna do here I'm just gonna if you know that's fine already you just go object uh, sorry not object bitmap convert to bitmap and then we'll lock this we'll lock this up uh, to a to a bitmap click OK and then we can just reshape this so once you reshape that just click on the shape tool and then I'll just double click here and then and then okay I'm gonna zoom in here and then I can just go like this okay and then click on this um, convert to curve okay that's one way that's how you edit uh, a bitmap all right so that looks good and uh, maybe a little bit more so go to your shape tool let me see okay so we can we can even like shape it like that all right that's great so we have we have the mug we have this one and we have the text all right again creating a good mock-up if it will enhance your design because people can imagine how it would look like just by showing uh, by looking at your presentation i hope you enjoyed this tutorial uh, again i'm doing this daily and uh, i will <laughs> show you more tomorrow and i would appreciate if if you're not a subscriber and uh, you please subscribe but if you don't want to subscribe that's fine just just give me a like or comment on it that would be great thank you very much and have a nice day bye for now